our next guest. Oscar and Tony Award winning actress. Now she's starring in her as a ruthless drug lord Ooh. in the new Lifetime movie, Cocaine Godmother, the Griselda Blanco story. Please welcome Catherine Zeta. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. I, I'm so glad you made I've been fascinated with this story, Griselda Blanco. Fascinating. Really quite terrifying. But you say you've always wanted to play this oh, role. Why is it's that? Been, it's been nearly four years that I've been wanting to mm. get, to, to kind of get under her skin. I mean, and you wonder why, because morally, I am so like the polar <laughs> opposite of anything and Literally. everything <laughs> that this woman was, did, believed in uh, life. But as an actor, it's just one of those jobs mm. that you go, I, and to, to the point of like I was obsessed with her. But an amazing woman, just give a little bit of a backstory. In the 70s in Miami, when the drug, the, the drug cartels first started to come in, you know, it was dominated by men, yeah. obviously bad guys, mm -hmm. um, dangerous world, a very dark world. But Griselda was the queen paint. She was the, she was the one that was running the show. And mm. when I saw this documentary, Cocaine Cowboys, I went, all these guys are talking about this woman and revering her, fearing her. Who is this yeah. woman that all these guys are yeah. like, you know, holding up so highly in their es estimation. But anyway, I've literally got the chance to play um, a character that I've been wanting to play forever, and it was the best four-week shoot of my life. Four weeks, wow. that's it? Four weeks, it was crazy. Was Thank wow. yeah. And in the movie, she named her son Michael Corleone. <laughs> Did she? <laughs> Is that actually true? Yeah, well, she named her dog Hitler, but we don't oh. even go there. Oh. But, oh. So th that gives you a sense mm. that the sociopathic kind of yeah. weird. She dove into dark. the evil on this one. She, oh, I did, and you know what? I kept enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I, I think I've had this kind of exorcism of that now. Which you actually now is coming out on Saturday at Lifetime. Oh. I feel bizarrely sad that I'm letting her go, but she 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 needs to be gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you need to see a little bit of her. Let's take a look. What I need, what I require is someone who knows exactly what to do before I even say it. Then what you need is me. Good. Make him disappear. Oops. Whoa. Whoa. Doesn't sound like he had a choice there. He didn't have a choice on that one. No. A lot of people. I mean, a lot of people didn't have a choice. You know, when when you when you were good to Griselda, she was good to you. But if you were bad, she was horrid. Ooh. But it's like you say, as you can imagine. You know, just to have all those multi layers and um, you know, people say, oh, you stripped down, stripped away from. So, okay, it's, it's, she's not really about where I have mascara on or not. You know, <laughs> it, 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 but it was so liberating for me and I've been waiting to get my my teeth into something like this for a while mm. we can't wait to see it and we hear that your husband had a little advice to yes. for you on well, how to play the role he did, what do you say well we first of all I never give him unsolicited advice because only only, only on the golf course yeah <laughs> <laughs> only on the golf course and he should take it but he doesn't but anyway um, so I mean I never read his projects he never reads them. we just go off and do our thing and I think it's good you know yeah, we don't right. bring the don't bring it home but as I was leaving for the airport, we saw some of it obviously in Colombia and, and Vancouver. He said, um, let me give you a little something to think about, honey. I went, oh, OK. Um, just remember, you don't have to do a lot. And I went, well, that's strange. You know, this, this is a woman mm -hmm. you think is like so colorful, there'd be so much to do, because you really don't have to do much at all. Just remember that. I went, why? He said, because, darling, you are at your most terrifying when you do absolutely <laughs> Nineteen years. Right? Yeah. If I'd known that, I wouldn't scream like a banshee. I'll right? <laughs> just keep totally still and just look at him like you want. Do you want? What do you think? Uh -huh. Anyway, it's very so, good advice. But I did I take it. I did take that advice, especially when I was. It was such a crazy shoot when I was like the sixteenth hour and we're starting mm -hmm. a new scene. Mm -hmm. What do I do? And then and sometimes you get like, oh, I'll just do something because you think you have to. I went, no, you know what? I'm doing nothing. And it works. And it, uh, it, it helped me out. Well, it you works. did nothing in this, but we're telling everybody at home to do something. Get out and see this, <laughs> yeah. okay? It's called Cocaine Godmother. Premieres Saturday on Lifetime. Catherine Zeta-Jones, everybody.
Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.